Welcome viewers to this presentation. In this day and age, the modern smartphone is a powerful tool for communication with people via voice or text. But many years ago, it was the rotary telephone. In this video, we will take the handset of a rotary telephone and modify it so that it can be plugged into the headphone jack of a standard Samsung smartphone. The smartphone will typically come with a set of earbuds which aren't just earbuds but also have a module with a built-in mic. This one also boasts a volume control but we're interested in the type that has a built-in mic. On the special smartphone jack for the Samsung Galaxy series, the pinout is microphone, ground, right channel, left channel. We're going to cut the cord right here. I stripped each. Obviously, the one with more is the one that includes the microphone. The stripped wire will be tinned. The green wire, you might think the green is insulation you can strip off. Really, the green is actually green enamel coated wire, very fine strands wrapped around clo uh, cloth or wrapped around string. When I tin it, it should melt the enamel off and the tinning should get on to the actual bare wire. There we go. You gotta give it time to melt the insulation away, the enamel insulation, so the solder can actually tin the wire. The enamel insulation gets all over the soldering tip, so it must be wiped away on a sponge. Here, displayed, is the pinout for the jack. I have the jack up here for reference. One, two, three, four. What we're interested in is the ground, which is the shield, the exposed wire, the blue, which is the microphone, and the green, which is the left channel. By hooking up these connections, we should be able to make it work with an old telephone handset. The thought is, is that it should work with the old carbon microphone because, this, because the phone will supply the voltage that would normally power a condenser microphone. That same voltage should be able to power the carbon mine. Here's where things will get a bit more interesting. We're not talking about using the entire phone, unfortunately. We're just talking about using the phone's handset. Now, some handsets, like this one, are hardwired to the base of the telephone. See, we, so we will be disconnecting the handset from the base of this old telephone. But we'll do it in such a way that we can always connect the handset back so that this telephone can be used as a regular telephone in the future without destroying the old historical classic. Here is the network of the telephone, the little circuit board or on some older Western electric telephones it may be a uh, block with ceramic and a bunch of screw connections. But you'll see the telephone handset hooks up here. When disconnecting, note which colored wires go to where on the circuit board so they can be reconnected 
at a later time. That way, the historical value won't be ruined. I got the connections from the handset. It has two white wires, so we'll see if both white wires go to the same thing. Let's open up the handset. You can see that both white wires go to the speaker. Therefore, it doesn't matter which white wire goes where. Obviously, the other two wires, the red and the black, will go to the microphone. Polarity does not matter on either of them. Now it's just a matter of putting the proper handset wires onto the proper wires for the smartphone's jack. On the website of the Android Central Forums, link in the description, I found a very interesting schematic. You see, first I tried wiring up the carbon microphone directly to the mic and ground connections only to find out that my phone still preferred its internal microphone. Well here you can see the wiring for a typical Android smartphone microphone earphone system. The left and the right channels are pretty self-explanatory going right to the earbud drivers. But the interesting part is with the microphone connections. Between mic and ground, a condenser microphone is directly hooked up. But notice, the condenser microphone resistance has to be greater than 1.4 kilo ohms. Whereas pressing a forward and reverse button for tracks of music would do 660 ohms and 220 ohm resistances to change a current flow so that the phone would detect that the certain button was pressed. Play and pause or literally short out the microphone. When I measure the electrical resistance of the carbon microphone, I find that it is several hundred ohms, ranging, averaging at about 400 ohms, lying right in between the 660 ohm and 220 ohm forward and reverse values but not high enough to be considered as not having a button pressed so what we need to do is put a series resistance with the carbon microphone to make the lowest resistance be just a little bit above 1.4 kilo ohms with the lowest resistance apparently being around 340 ohms a 1.2 K ohm resistor should be adequate. Hello! Oh, stupid. Now, we've installed a 1.2 kilo ohm resistor in series with a carbon mic. When we measure the resistance across the cell phone's cable connection now, we read 1.5 kilo ohms. Of course, that resistance ah, will change as it picks up sound. Ah! Watch the meter change when I yell. Ah, I'm yelling, blah, blah, yeah. Okay, so, because carbon microphones are not like your dynamic and condenser microphones, a carbon microphone changes resistance according to the audio. Now, before I used this voice recorder application and was disappointed when I first tested it before putting the resistor on, noting how it recorded with the cell phones built-in microphone. I haven't tried recording after the mod yet, although I did plug it in earlier, and you'll see a glorious message pop up on the screen. Because of the resistance difference, watch. External microphone will be used to record audio, the message says. A recording is now being made. I literally... see? I'm tapping the phone and nothing's coming up. Now I speak into the microphone of the telephone handset and I can tell it's making a very strong recording clipping like crazy on the audio recorder's waveform. So I can tell that my smartphone is working no joke with 
19th century microphone technology. Now, let's save that. And Let's play through the cell phone. Now, I speak into the microphone of the telephone handset, and I can tell it's making a very strong recording, clipping like crazy on the audio recorder's waveform. So I can tell that my smartphone is working, no joke, with 19th century microphone technology. That is remarkable. Now, it's time to place a legitimate phone call. Using this telephone handset with a modern smartphone. But, of course, we are literally using the original transducers, including the original carbon button microphone. Something not normally heard on a cell phone call. I'm hearing the sound of a ringing through here. Hello. Hey, hey, man. Hey, what's up? Hey, can, hey, can you hear me good? Uh, yeah. Am I loud and clear? Yes. Does my voice sound a little bit different through the phone than it normally does? Does it sound kind of grainy, old-fashioned? Yeah. Do you have any idea why? Not really, no. The reason is, is because I have gotten an old telephone handset. The old, you know those old rotary phones? Yes. I've gotten one of the handset to one of those with the old kind of carbon microphone and have literally hooked the handset up to my smartphone. And I'm talking to you through a vintage telephone handset. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah, so how are things going, He-Man? Pretty good. How about you? I'm good. Here is a schematic diagram of the simple setup. Oops, I forgot something. This corresponds to the jack like this. First connection, microphone, simply goes through the 1.2 kilo ohm resistor, through the microphone, and to common ground connection, which is the ground connection of pin 2. Also, pin 2, the common ground, goes to one side of the speaker of the handset. The other side of the speaker goes to pin 4, which is the left channel. And it's that simple. The 1.2 kilo ohm resistor, of course, as you saw earlier, is important because without it, the phone will not detect the handset as having its own microphone. So if you want to use the carbon mic, you need the series 1.2 kilo ohm resistor. It will obviously not affect the loudness of the sound. As you have heard, it's quite loud and, albeit grainy and old-fashioned, clear. I hope you enjoyed this presentation on how to make an old-school Bell telephone handset work for the modern smartphone. At least in this case, an Android smartphone. Although, I wouldn't be too surprised if it also ended up working with the Apple phone as well. But don't quote me on that, because I am not an iPhone Apple guy.